So this morning, our 161 battery got airlifted utilising the NH90s. We did a deployment with the battery complete, moving from Waidu military camp out within the training area. Once we were firm on the ground, we were able to then fire some fire missions. <laughs> So we've got four guns, we have to move to a, um, a position where they've specified, as well as ammunition, equipment and gun team. Flying the NH-90 with a heavy load is like driving a, a truck and trailer unit as opposed to a sports car. The centre of gravity moves to underneath the aircraft and it's, it flies like a, a pendulum, so um, you've got to take it slowly, it takes a long time to speed up and slow down as well as turn the corner. Previously you'd have to break the gun down into um, a few bits and pieces uh, for a, a bunch of Iroquois to lift and then they'd have to be reassembled but we can take it straight out to the landing zone and be ready to fire as soon as we drop it off. So once we get into position the guns will um, come into action which means that they are ready to fire and then from there they will set up their tarps get out their firing stores and um, prep their ammunition. Whilst this is happening, the command post will be generating bearings and elevations, which is the firing data that the guns need in order to fire their fire missions. Uh, when artillery deploys into the field, we normally take out pin scales and unimogs. So now that we've got an air mobile capability, it's going to be able to enhance the way that we're able to perform on the battlefield. We'll be able to access a lot of more difficult terrain, which we may not have been able to with the Unimogs, and it also means that we'll be able to get out to the locations a lot quicker. 